hi. Hi everyone. My name is Molly and I am a co-director of Central Vermont Playback Theater with Lucy. And this is, we're the Central Vermont Playback Theater Troupe. And we're gonna do a little show here that's a mixture of participation from all of you. We're gonna be asking for feeling words, stories, um, based around this creating the culture of consent uh, theme that we've been working today. So I'm gonna let the art speak for itself. We're gonna show you some playback theater and then we'll invite some stories from you. Okay? Thank you so much for coming. This is great. Something I've been working on in my life around consent is speaking up when something is off. My body tells me there's something off and it takes a little bit for me to actually go from that gut to mouth. I'm working on that. My name is Molly, she, her pronouns. Right now I'm trying to figure out what a deep, true, real yes feels like. <laughs> My name is Leslie, I use she, her pronouns. Yes! I'm working on asking for what I want, what I need, and sometimes I don't, sometimes I just don't. And I get the story that I'm telling myself instead of what's actually available to me. Oh, I'm Abby, or AJ, and I use she and they pronouns. Something that I'm working on about consent is about naming and sharing what it is that I really, really want and asking for it and knowing that it is delightful to ask for what I want. My name is Lisa and I am she. Yeah. This past year, I wrote a letter to a friend whose consent I had breached a few years back. And I'd never done anything like that before. And I learned a lot from the process of trying to repair consent by going back over what had happened and reimagining how it could have gone differently. My name is Lucy, I use she and they pronouns. Yeah, I want that. How could it be different? Mm. Yes. What could I have done? Yes. Could want be different. Mm. Thank you, actors. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is the rhythm of it. We'll ask for stories, we'll ask for a word, and then we'll show you through sound, movement, phrases. And I am the conductor for the show, so I'll be talking to, to you and pulling the story out of you and then giving it to these amazing actors to shape. So let's just start off with, uh, playback is all about feelings and integrating the feelings that we feel about the stories and narratives in our lives. So I'm wondering how many people are feeling feelings around consent being here at this, this event? Yeah, great, got feelings going on. Um, just popcorn, shout them out a little bit. What kind of feelings are you feeling right now here at this event? Anxiety. Anxiety. Apprehension. Apprehension. Resentment. Resentment. Mm. That's, a, that's a juicy one. 
Would you mind talking a little bit more about resentment? Where's that resentment coming from? I am one of two people of color I see here, and my body is always under constant policing by the dominator culture. Mm -hmm. So I'm withdrawing my consent today for people to do that. This is Ope Yemi's story of resentment. Let's watch. I withdraw my consent. I withdraw my consent. You better know who you are before you assume who I am. I withdraw my consent. You better know who you are before you ask who I am. I withdraw. You better know who you are my before consent. you ask who Not I am. Not today. Not today. I withdraw my consent. Not who are today. you? Today, I'm here. I'm safe today. Today I'm here. Thank you, actors. Woohoo! Okay, Yami, did you see your story? I saw my story. Hey, thank you. See. Thank oh, you. Oh, verify. Yes. I don't testify anymore. Oh, verify. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It's a while to get my joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Other feelings. I heard apprehension. I heard anxiety. What else? What else are you feeling? Hope. Hope. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to talk more about that? Yeah, Great. I got to have an amazing conversation with a young human in um, the Vermont Network. Mm -hmm. And, and there's always just such brilliance in the young people. Yes, and, brilliance in the young. Um, that's that's great right there, right? That's beautiful. Hey, what is your name, please? Ornella. Ornella. And would you like to see your story? Sure. All right. This is Ornella's story. Hope. Let's watch. I trust the world in your hands. I trust the world in your hands. The hope you give me makes me feel a little bit expanded. I trust the world. I'm listening. I'm stretched. I'm listening. Oh my gosh, the young people! <laughs> yes! I'm listening. I am listening. Young people! I trust the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Some things don't feel good and you don't know if they'll ever happen again? Yeah. Okay. What, what are you afraid of won't happen again? Violation? <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it sounds like it's bringing up some old story or an old experience. A fear. Yeah. Okay. So a fear, a fear that your consent might be violated again. Thank you. What's your name? Elisa. Elisa. Thank you for sharing. So we're gonna see Elisa's story of that fear, fear that consent might be violated again. Let's watch. No. Am I safe? No. Is it okay? No. Fuck. Oh. Is this the day of the day? No. <gasps> I really hope it's the day. Yeah. <sighs> Not again. So this is just one form. This is a um, fluid sculpture form in playback theater, and we have a couple different ones. So now we can shift and take some longer stories where we can have a conversation, get some more details about your story, and see it in a different form of playback, maybe. Fluids also are a great form to use. But I'm wondering if today, uh, you know, we've, we've heard a little bit being here uh, at this event is bringing up some feelings about things that have happened in the past, hope for the future, talking to young people. And I'm wondering if you're sitting there and hearing other people's stories is maybe bringing up a story that's coming up to you. A story that you connect with or that relates to an experience that you've had. I won't call on you. Is anybody feeling that little like, I might have something to share? Okay. Just a little hand, a little shrug. And from those little hands, little shrugs, anything you want to explore with us? Um, I'm hearing a lot of feelings and I'm hearing the, there's a, there's two feelings in there that I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on the, like, I'm just shame. Oh, I should have known better. Does that resonate? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for bringing that in. I'm hearing also the, the relief of feeling validated and the importance of feeling validated by a community that says, yeah, that's not you. So there's the fear and the shame of like, oh no, I should have known better. Was this my fault? And then the re relief of the repair, the validation. Yep. Does that, does that resonate? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. If you could give that story a title, what would you call it? <laughs> yeah. I'm never having sex with men again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> All right, so we'll see it in a pair. And this is Martha's story. I'm never having sex with men again. Let's watch.
<laughs> I know it in my head. But my body doesn't know it yet. I know it. My body doesn't know it yet. It should know it, because I know it. My body doesn't know it yet. I really wish it knew it. Come on, body. Come on, body. Know it. Friends, I need help. Community, can you hold me now? I need to talk about this. There's something I need to say, so I wasn't held. Community, can you hold me? Can I feel your support? I should have known better. I practiced this. I practiced this. I've done workshops about this. There's support now. There's support now. But in the moment, in the moment, I can feel the ground. I can feel my friends. I can feel my body now. I know what I want. I'm never doing this again. I'm doing it. I'm I'm frozen. Frozen. so held by my people and we're all here doing the best we can. Frozen. We're in this together. Anger. Fluid, let's watch. I said no, and I sure as hell did not say yes. I said no. I sure as hell did not say yes. You crossed that? What? I said no. You crossed that? No. Sure as hell did not say yes. What? That was clear. <gasps> I said no. You crossed that? I sure as hell did not say yes. This was what? the line. What the no. F? I said no. This was the line. No. I sure as hell did no. not say yes. Who crossed that? No. I said no. no. about boundaries being crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. All right. We have time for one more story. It's Lena's story. From head to heart. From head to gut. Let's watch.
to plant a garden here in North Carolina. I've got all my herb friends. And the conversations I'm having for talking about consent. That was a good conversation I had with that person. But, mm, it's just consent. I'm just gonna plant my garden and be my friends, my friends. But I feel just, it's just something's a little flat. Tell me what you know about boundaries. <laughs> Tell me what you know about your limits. Tell me what you know. Tell me what you know about your needs. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Tell me what you know. There's this feeling and it's rising from my organs. It's sloshing around and it's moving up and it's and it's all of these teachers and it's all of these young people and it's everyone here today and it's everyone not here today and it's and it's this community and it's my place in it and it's everything I've learned and it's, 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 it's just so big, it's so big, it's just a huge, huge, yes, yes. much for coming to this event here today we're looking forward to the march uh, that's going to be starting in a little bit and um, we want to leave you with one final tableau one final ritual that we like to do it's something called once there was let's watch Once there was a lot of hope from the young people inspiring us. Once there was a name that was said just right, Opeyemi. Once there was fierce. Once there was a community that validated and said that was wrong. Once there was a line that was crossed, but many friends to hold in it. That was wrong. Okay, and I have yes. hope. You give me hope. That is not your fault. Please say it right. Thank you for that hope. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel it in my heart.